Hey, this is Safi Vibes from MikeyNerf.com and in this video you're gonna learn He's a Pirate, the Pirates of the Caribbean slash Jack Sparrow theme. Not composed by Hans Zimmer, by the way. Um, that's a common mistake. Um, another common mistake to make is to not begin by D minor, so begin by D minor. That's the scale. By the way, I played it in a different video, so you can go check it out right now, or after you learn it, um, to see how it plays out. Let's get down to business. Um, you need to get to D5, which is this, um, but you need to lead into it, so you need to put these fingers on. So, let's begin. That's the first lick, okay? Into a D5. Then into a B flat. Then into C. Back to D5. Okay? Then into B flat. Okay, you begin as you begun the first line, but you end up in a B flat. Then into an F. Then into C again. Then into D5 again. Then, um, a half of the first leg, um, D minor, D5, B flat, and now you need a G minor, so you just bar the third fret and use your pinky. Okay, now comes this line. We need to do this. This is a G5. Okay? Remember this, you're gonna need to use this chord again in a second. So. Okay? Now into a B5 again. Remember the D5? Now into A, and into A again. You're done with the first part. Now comes a little, um, little passageway, a little riff. You bar the second fret, and you bar the fifth fret with your pinky only to that you bar four strings here and two strings here. Okay? You, need, you do this. And you can continue um, you can continue picking the rest of the bar. Something like that. And then you take this up one fret into B flat. So it's the same. A, B flat, A. Okay? Now comes the really good part. Okay? Put this on, leave the D string open, and then you do this. Then it's a C. Use your pinky for a high G and do this. And when it comes to D, you just leave these two fingers here, the first finger and the pinky, you had a C with a high G, you leave these and you slide them two frets forward, um, picking all four strings. Okay? Sounds like this. Then again, then again the C, and into a D minor. 
Now for the third part. You again begin with a D minor. C. F. C again. Then, and then a high F. On the fifth fret. C shape. C. D5. Then into a B flat. C. And then it's D minor, C, B flat, B flat. Only you pick the two B flats, different shape, different strings. Okay? D minor, C, B flat, B flat. Then again, um, a D minor. And then into that G minor where you bar only the third fret and use your pinky for the sixth. Into an A. Into a D minor. Now comes the good part again, only better. Okay, so D minor, B flat, F, slide back into a C with a high G. Okay, from a D into a C. So Then G minor, D minor, A, D minor, A, and slide back into a D note. Then comes the really, really good part. Okay, so DM into another DM. Then again, the D minor arpeggio, then it's not into a D minor, it's into a B flat. Okay, so... This is a B flat arpeggio. Then, F, C, F, slide back into a C. Got it? Then, G minor, D minor, A, D minor, A, D5. And you're done. Not as hard as you thought. Um, I think. I don't know what you're thinking. So, you can subscribe to my channel. And, of course, leave a comment. And um, you can write me at meatlakenriff.com or right here on the comment section. And go watch me play this if you haven't yet to see how it all comes together. And if you have already watched it, then you can go watch it again. Um, bye, thanks for watching.